In this video, we'll talk about how to add hexadecimal numbers. So in a base 10 system, or sometimes this is just called a decimal system, we have values that go from 0 to 1 to 2, and they just go up and up, and they only use numbers. But in a base 16 system, or sometimes called a hexadecimal system, we also start at 0 and we go up to 9, but once we hit 10, instead of using 10, we use A. And instead of using 11, we use B. Instead of 12, we use C. Instead of 13, we use D. Instead of 14, we use E. And instead of 15, we use F. So knowing this, let's see how we can add hexadecimal numbers. So let's say we want to do 4AC plus B92. How can we add these two hexadecimal numbers? Well, we'll start just like ordinary addition, where we're just focusing on this first column. So we'll say, what is C plus 2? Well, remember C, that's the same as 12. So really what we have is 12 plus 2. So 12 plus 2 is 14, but instead of writing 14, notice what we can write an E right here, since that's what we use in the hexadecimal system. So an E will go right here. All right, now we'll move on to this next column. We have A plus 9. So A, recall, that's the same as 10. So really what we have is 10 plus 9. That's 19. Well, notice there's no 19 that is represented by the hex system or the hexadecimal system. So what we have to do is say how many 16s go into 19? Well, that would just be 1. So we'll do a little long division. So 16 times 1, that's 16. So we say 19 minus 16, that's 3. There's nothing left to bring down here. So we'll just say that 3 is our remainder. So 19 divided by 16 is 1 with a remainder of 3. So here's the trick. The remainder is what we'll write right here. And the whole number that we got from the division, this 1 right here, we just place this on top of the next column. All right, and then we just move on to this very last column here. So we have 1 plus 4 plus b. Well, remember, b is the same as 11. So we really have 1 plus 4, which is 5, plus 11, that's 16. But notice, there's nothing, there's no letter that represents a 16, a 16 in the hexadecimal system. So we have to use the trick again where we say, okay, how many 16s go into 16? Well, that would just be 1. So 16 times 1, that's 16. So we say 16 minus 16, and we get a remainder of 0. So remember, the remainder right here, this is what we write right here. And the whole number that we got from the division, this 1, this gets placed in the next column. Now notice, in this last column, there's nothing left to add, so this 1 just comes all the way down here and lands right here. So our final answer is 103E. So when we add the, hex, the hexadecimal numbers 4AC plus B92, we get 103E. Right, let's try another example. Let's say we have 62E4 plus 1A3B. How can we add these two hexadecimal numbers? Well, we'll start with the first column. What is 4 plus B? Remember, b is the same as 11, so we really have 4 plus 11, which is 15. And in the hexadecimal system, f is the, the letter that represents 15. So we'll write an f right here. All right, moving on to the next column, we have e plus 3. So e, that's the same as 14. So we have 14 plus 3, which is 17. But notice, the hexadecimal system doesn't go up to 17. So we have to use our trick where we say, okay, how many 16s go into 17? Well, that would just be 1. So 1 times 16 is 16, so 17 minus 16 is 1, so our remainder is 1. So remember, we write the remainder right here, and the whole number that we got from the division, this 1, goes on top of the next column. All right, and then we repeat the process. So what is 1 plus 2 plus a? Well, 1 plus 2 is 3, a is the same as 10, so we have 3 plus 10, that's 13, and that is represented by a d and the hexadecimal system. So this will just be a D right here. And then lastly, we have a 6 plus 1, that's 7. So that's easy. So this is our final answer. 7D1F. All right, let's try another example. Let's say we have 500C3 plus 4DE. How can we add these two hexadecimal numbers? Well, we'll start with 3 plus E. What is that? Well, E is the same as 14. So we really have 3 plus 14, which is 17. But notice, the hexadecimal system doesn't have a letter to represent 17. So remember the trick we use. How many 16s will go into 17? Well, just 1. 1 times 16 is 16, so we'll say we'll subtract 16, and we're left with a remainder of 1. So the remainder is what we place right here. 
and the whole number that we got from the division, the 1, is what we place at the top of the next column. Alright, so now we have 1 plus C plus D. So C is 12, so 1 plus 12, that's 13. D is 13, so we really get 13 plus 13, which is 26. So the hexadecimal system doesn't go up to 26, so we have to use our trick where we say, what is 16, or how many 16s go into 26? Just 1. And so we get 1 times 16, so we're going to subtract a 16. 26 minus 16 is 10, so our remainder is 10. So remember we said we write the remainder right here. Well, what is 10 in the hexadecimal system? That's an A, so we're just going to write an A right here. And the whole number that we got, the 1, that will be carried over to the next column. So in the next column we get 1 plus 0 plus 4, that's 5. In the next column we just bring down this 0, and in the last column we just bring down this 5. So our final answer is 505A1. Alright, let's try one more example. Let's say we have DF23 plus 3AA. How can we add these two hexadecimal numbers? Well, let's start in the first column. 3 plus A. Remember, A is the same as 10, so we really have 3 plus 10, which is 13. And in the hexadecimal system, D represents 13, so we'll write a D right here. Next we get 2 plus A, so remember again, A is 10, so 2 plus 10 is 12. In the hexadecimal system, C represents a 12, so we'll write a C. In the next column we have F plus 3, so F is the same as 15, so we really have 15 plus 3, which is 18. But notice the hexadecimal system doesn't go up to 18, so we have to use the trick where we say, how many 16s go into 18? Well, just 1. 1 times 16 is 16, so 18 minus 16 is 2, so our remainder is 2. So remember, the remainder is what we will write right here, and the whole number that we got from the division, the 1, just goes on top of the next column. So lastly, we have 1 plus D. Remember, D is the same as 13, so we really have 1 plus 13, which is 14. And then the hexadecimal system, a 14, is represented by an E. So we'll just write an E right here. So our final answer is E2CD.